Good luck, me. Hey, it's Gorehouse. That's a good. Hold on, gotta wait for the uh, loading. Oh no, it didn't pick up my Gorehal pick. All right, let's see. No mission vendor. I'm surprised shield. No, oh, I guess I'm not. The five armor is kind of bad in the arena. Armor is just generally bad in the arena. Is she? Or is it blaze color? It's hard to combo the fishy in arena. Early enough that I can lean a bit towards picking elementals. Averaging is a good card. Bone Mare is still good. Right, Eyed Scout's pretty decent given that I have higher cards here. Firefly with the Blaze Collar. Well, Taskmaster doesn't actually seem that good here. I'll pick this over. Uh, to the blaze. The cube. Now, is this standardized or Lightforge really loves carnivorous cube? And that's even normalized. I don't normalize it. <laughs> Lightforge thinks that's a 146. Interesting. Execute. Hmm. Lone champion. Yeah, I kind of have a slow start so far. Really good card in a slow start deck. Weaponsmith, great. He's gotten the better end of cards so far. Kind of nice. Second execute is worse than the first one. I do have a ghoul. I do have firefly. I have weaponsmith. Low attack minions. This will make the It'll make... well, the third execute will be really bad, is all I really know. Taskmaster is good. And the Brew, probably. Red Corsair, I only have Weaponsmith and Gorhel. With my Brewmaster, we could... there's a number of cards. You don't have the resources for the Dread Corsair. Little strike. That's a card I haven't seen in some time. I have two executes and a mortal strike. And summoner is still best. Wow, Light Forge is must be incredibly wrong. Oh, I guess. Hmm. You could just armor up and then Reckless Flurry at worst, which is usually the case, so it's five mana deal two to everyone. I can't agree with that Reckless Flurry raging. I think I'll take the Brawl for the catch-up. Alright, third execute is no good anymore. Violet Worm for me. Lone Champion again. Cool. Blood to Icker or Bomb Squad. Or Volcanosaur. I have two executes, makes Blood to Icker pretty good. In addition to it already being good. Bomb Squad is good. And I'm a warrior, so I actually get to use a health resource. 
It's not going to be Volcano Store here since I already have enough late game. Yeah, the two executes just make the Blood Dicker so much better. Ooh, Nazos first mate. One of the best cards. This rating I actually kind of agree with. Let's see what it's unnormalized. 193. I don't really understand how the Light Forge numbers like even work. I think they use some sort of formula. But it's, it gets a little bit silly. Yeah, Frost Ellie. It's also an elemental for Blaze Color. Got Fiery Winax, but we also have Fire Plume Phoenix. Fire Plume Phoenix is an elemental. I think that gives it the edge. Mm, good old Yeti. Boy, have I not seen Yeti in what feels like forever. Thunder Lizard, I'm kind of an elemental warrior deck. Little Yeti though. Gadget here. Our Lord Elemental also. So early game I only have Firefly and Azos first mate, Taskmaster and Brewmaster. But I do have two lone champions to catch up. Our Lord is an elemental. And it's a decent big card. Ah, Tar Lord again. Okay. So we are definitely a control deck between the Brawls and the Executes. And the Gore Howl and the big cards of Tar Lords. Bloodhoof Brave again. Cool. And last but not least, I'll just pick 5 mana 88 eight, even though I'm a control deck. And yeah, it's a good card. Alright. Um, Hearth Arena rates this deck score a. It didn't count the Gore Howl, I think, so I'm gonna round it to, I believe, 70. Some pretty good cards in this deck. I don't believe there are any terrible cards in it. Which seems to be the exception in Arena now, when you get zero terrible cards. Now, the only downside is I'm a warrior and I have a bad hero power, which is a pretty big downside. So the only question is, were the good cards that I'm offered because of being a warrior, do those outweigh the bad hero power? Also, the curve is a little bit weird. Not a lot of 1s and 2s, not a lot of 3s, but the 3s are really good given that I don't have a lot of early game. Lone Champion, insane on 3. The 4 drops are very high quality, and then the late game is pretty strong. So... I'm definitely playing this as a control style. The hero power might actually allow me to stabilize at the end. I'm gonna guess... 7 wins. Thank you for a very long standing sub, 44 months, Marinwen and Ahelden. Ahiden. Thank you for subbing, I'll say. Alright, let's roll. Lucky seven. Victory 
Strong start. Coin blood hoof brave coin coin blood hoof brave and a blood hoof brave. Seems pretty solid. Ooh, lone champion. Uh, that card sucks now. Off to a unusually fast start. Oh my gosh, the card doesn't suck. What do you know? This card rocks. Plays. One is Bloodhoof Brave Hit, the other is Hit Ravaging Ghoul. Let's keep on curve. I have a Brave man. I have a name to grind. Start. So many options. There once was a man from Gildas. Hmm. I really don't want to blood dick or my guy and set it to five. But I kind of want to. Next turn, I'm definitely playing one of the eight drops. Hmm. It is Brewmaster, my uh, 2 4, I suppose. 2 1. Reply does 2 4. For me. No, it doesn't matter because his weapon does 5. But 1, 4, it's the same number. But 6 is a very different number. Oh, but if I... Oh, he can't hit it. It loses taunt. That's pretty good. I don't need any of you. Well, I want a blood to Icar, my guy. I mean, not this guy, but... One of these guys. Sure. I'm coining 8 drop and then 8 drop, so I don't have any turn. I don't have time to play the Blood Dick or the next two turns.
for me! Challenge accepted. Start! Rub grub. Do -do. Keeping that warrior quest for the value, value 40 gold. This is going to be my last normal arena. It's going to be a wild arena soon, very exciting. Alright, it's the last in the tier list versus the first in the tier list in terms of arena averages. Will the last become the first? Oh, that was a good draw. Alright, what's in my deck? Icker, Execute... Mortal Strike, Brawl... But is that it? I don't have very many. Icker, Execute, Mortal Strike, Brawl. So that is not a lot of options. So I'm actually going to have to play around Brawl from the Priest. He has two of my spells, and then he had... Oh my god. <laughs> Back to work! Deck 3-1. Okay, so he has three cards out of a pool of Blood to Icker, Execute, Brawl, and Mortal Strike. Is he going to Brawl here? No. Does he have Brawl? Hard to say. That one was the Shadow Visions card. No I need to make sure to keep my board, I mean, strong against Brawl.
I must consider it. All right, well, only one left. If he did that, this this seriously implies he does not he did not get my pearl. There's no way he got pearl. Okay. Astonishing. This is probably an above average result for my summoner. In general, I mean, for this deck. Let me change your mind. You have been. Man, this Ionic probe results just sucked for him. Apparently, the way he used them. Ravara. Alright, we got a strong curve. Weaponsmith, Hydra, Frost Elemental. Just gotta get a 2 drop and a 3 drop. Or a four drop, and then I can coin out the four. I have so many four drops, I might just risk Weaponsmith. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven of the cards are four drops. I either pass here or I, I have Mortal String. Alright, coin Weaponsmith.
Four, five, six, seven. Hey, it's better. I want a mortal strike, a low threat card like that. Winter is here. Only taunt. Watch this. Oh, the cube value. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm having second thoughts. Like maybe Frost Elemental and Face Face was better there. It's just getting two eight eights is so good. Execute, hit, hit. Armor up. That's quite a board. What a pain. Also, these moral strikes are about to be... S the moral strike is about to be active. Array it. And we'll plan to use the Yeti again. <laughs> Double swipe lethal on me. That would make me cry. Hit him really hard. Thank you, Akovaru, for your 37 months of... What does that say? Six Pabo?
That doesn't make any sense. Bring victory. Victory or death. All right, lone champion of the fire plume. Cool. I've got a lot of high health minions that I can get a lot of value with cube. Embrace the void. We'll get there. Hmm. Do I want to just execute this? Two ways to do it. Taskmaster or Nizaz first mate. What's better? Mate or master? Hmm. I wonder. There's nothing I can really task master coming up. The light shall burn you. It does fit the mana better, and I get a 2 2 instead of a 1 1. Mastering my guy is really bad since I don't want to break the divine shield. This worked out well. All I have now are Tar Lords, so I have to. So it seems like the goal of the game is to defend my 3 3 and my 1 1 behind my Tar Lord, and then hit him about five times, something like that. One gnarly. Pinch of death. Pain of soup. Flamenth again? Even that's still just a six mana, six five. Which is bad, but it's not that bad. Us. I said 
Revenge. Let's see. So first question, do I end up bone mirroring this? I think yes. <sighs> Chill out. This will become this is right now a five five, it'll become a nine nine. Which will kill both of these in theory. Sure. Could go there, but we'll go here. That went well. Should have played bishop first, higher chance of getting toward Tolan. Well played. Well played. You have better. In some ways it was bad to bone there anything other than Tarlord, since Tarlord is the one that you want them to attack. Wayne Frostwolf Grunt. Just one more. Mm. Yeah, okay. This is so confusing. Wait, did he... Why didn't he just go 1-2? I guess it'd be question 1. I can go Weaponsmith, and it's pretty good against that too, too. But I wonder if Bloodhoof Brave might be a better play right now, since I don't need to go fast. Eh, probably right to do this, though. I'm really tempted. Might be able to find better targets for the Weaponsmith. This is only something I've started doing, like, last week in Arena. Let us see the Don't play the immediate answer. At least when it comes to a guy who summons a weapon, or something like that. 
or a weapon itself. That's kind of interesting. Alright, how bad could this be? I'm not gonna kill it. Let's go 4 1. Part of wanting to leave this around is so that the brave could go into it well. Start running. Five mana make a guy. Now the place. And to think about, do I play around equality consecration? And nah. I don't know how my opponent is matched up against the four now. I just don't know. That was some serious weak sauce. Thank you for subbing Liam Mega and Superman Diva. I'll tell you what, Liam Mega. Sure, I'll do that for you. Remind me if I forget. Garrosh versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Victory or death. Well, good news, I have Brawl for the catch-up. This hand is not like the other four games. That card is pretty good. Uh... But... Am I willing to use two charges of my weapon on this one three? Nice. Save the weapon. Fancy. Okay, so I can get Grimy Gadget here to land without a direct counter. And that tends to be fairly good. 
without the kill on the board. An autograph? Hmm, I suppose. Took one extra damage. Nice. Oh wow. <laughs> the curve. Tar Lord into Blaze Color. Blaze Color on seven. It's a perfect target for blaze color, so I'm inclined not to attack this. It's a really good target for my 5-6 also. Yeah, that'll be something to blaze color. And if not... That's a gore howl. A little too big to blaze color. Welcome to my late game. I can always brewmaster the Harlord back, potentially. Or a uh, Red Eyed Scout. Hmm. I wonder. Oh wow, it's new on Gorhal. It has the weapon and is kind of immune, that's cool. I want to keep my Magma Rager. This is going better than expected. I think I've fought against three kind of weak players now. I can't remember, it's kind of blurring together.
Peppers wants to head out, so I'll be right back.
All right. Twelve and no. Here we go. Oh, popcorn emote. Looks delicious, man. better four drops I don't really have better two drops but I don't see myself playing the taskmaster on two unless I'm specifically against the librarian just toss it all search for a lone champion blood of brave Blood Dicker. Okay. Why do you call oh, that's a really good card here. One mana, two, two, which deals one damage against the one, three. Perfecto. Wow, your hero power lets you lose health. Mine lets me gain health. That's pretty good. At least it's just a Malkazar zone. Stone skin basilisk, man. What a pain.
So close. Gotta taskmaster this, unless I have lethal, but I unfortunately don't have lethal. Alright, and then it's Tarlord. Ah, oh. the stable man. I don't need any of you. This will be at eight. That's fine. Can I bust through? Ah, still a little short, I think. Wait. Now, it. Uh... No, we don't have it. How do I not have it still? I wonder. Oh, it's so rough. Oh, that's... That's spooky. Oh. Oh my god. Anyways, I did that way because the other way, if I had a cube and a guy out, he could have killed both, but it's tougher to justify killing them than killing both of those. Huh, I won, somehow. Cool.
I'm a master tactician. Hmm. Grime a Gadgeteer on 4 would be really strong. If I manage to secure the board beforehand. But this deck doesn't really secure the deck beforehand. I'll toss it. What? Am I seven and oh? Maybe there's like, I don't. Maybe he's just trying to humiliate me. Excuse me, you are on fire. Hmm, if it's mirror energy, I guess we want to break shield. I don't need any of you. <laughs> it's the secret buff to warrior. When you pick warrior, it matches you down two wins. Maybe that's how the warrior win percentage isn't that bad. What to do? Brilliant. It all makes sense. When you pick Warrior, you get put into the newbie queue. The people who uh, have never played Arena before. Do I want to play 3-3 three, three here? I have Execute. I already have that one attack weapon, though. I'll save. Hmm. 
Eh, ouch. Guess we'll just casually take 15. Now well, this is where uh, armor up is really good, I suppose. I can remove so many things with Korahal. That included. Huh, oh, Mortal Strike is active. Now I have four mana, deal six damage. Overpowered. Is that even a good card to shuffle back in your deck? Hmm. No nope, time for a value yeti. I hope he draws it. This guy's kind of like Cairn. Except twice as good. Kind of, sort of. Hmm. Oh god, I set myself to 10. Wait, did I miss lethal? No, I didn't. Wait, I... Wait, I missed lethal. Oh my god, and I set myself to 10. Wait, did, hold on, did I miss? That's an extra 2 damage. That's 6, but I added 4. No, I didn't miss. Wait, did I miss? No, I didn't miss. Oh, right, this weapon. Oh, yeah. I'm done. Sometimes when you get too caught up in the control mode, you know, you just go all, you go full control mode. Right? This is what they, this is why they're matching Warrior up against all the new players. 
Give him a chance. Shall bring victory. Victory or death. Greetings. Champion in the grimy gadget here. That'll be pretty good. Uh, I play Brewmaster first. So, if he doesn't manage to kill the Brewmaster, then the Brewmaster sets the stage for the gadget here, anyways. Time for the Gadgeteer to get out of control. I feel bad. It feels good to be able to play the card that I buffed right away. Gadgeteer's out of control! Oh no! And 10, I guess. And the Gadgeteer is just following the curve. He's like, you want to play this next, right? You want to play this next, right? So the only thing that can stop me is Psychic Scream. So... I play around Psychic Scream? I think it'll also get stopped by death. This is fun. The lone champions, they're sad that they don't get buffed, but they're happy that they finally got friends. Still in it. What a boss.
Alright, so if you cast Mind Control, I still win. So this is a great play. If he was at 12, I would have also cast Blood to Icker. Ah, the satisfying thunk of Gorehow. Thanks for seven, Stetil. Done. Uh oh. We're not going to the now, maybe. So, that was a slow turn for him, which is good for me since my start is very slow, and my deck in general is slow. You there? Our six, seven, eight shenanigans. Our Lord's been pretty good for me. Cubed worms, huh? Yum. Yeah, once I make it to this stage. And we're dropping the Tar Lord and the Worm and the Bone Mare and the Gorehal. I feast upon the light. That looks pretty good.
Ding. Well, what do you know? This is good against Mirror Entity and Frozen Clip? Cubing the 7 4 would be really bad what? against Mirror Entity. I could check with Lone Champion first. And then I'm not entirely sure that cubing that's that good. Maybe just Spiteful Summoner. I have an Execute in the deck, and a Mortal Strike in the deck. Yeah, cube is pretty good right here. I wonder if you possibly wanted to sacrifice the Raven Familiar first against the Lone Champion. Maybe. Not Doomsayer, right? Phew. You win. Oh, crap, man. I did not expect to go 10 and 0. Again! This guy's a toast. I don't need any of you. Hmm. Just a 
two five for three here. So that's decent. That was strange that he attacked me with the dagger the first time around. Not that strange, but just a little bit strange. Just strange enough to warrant, like, boy, would I be more annoyed if I... If he had a one damage dagger. Oh, okay. That's why. He had a weapon to play. Against better players, I guess I could have deduced that. But the play has been not great. Ooh, great card. And I have an execute. Ooh, and another lone champion. I don't need any of you. That is not good, but cool. It's pretty bad, but cool. And worm, I think. And then I guess I'll go face first. If I don't activate the possible cheat death on this. For me. Can't really get punished. If I hit him while well, the worm is the only card on the board, can't get sudden betrayed either. Still don't know if it's cheat death or betrayal. Oh. Yeah, will he be sad? I think he'll be sad. Let's just play this then. We have enough health that I can play the slow play. Thank goodness! I dodged my king's being getting destroyed. Man, attack in the cube will be so strong. Oh my god, the 7 1. Oh my god! The ultimate value! Beat death, sure. Cube, a 7 1 grab. Oh, man. Oh wait, I only get one worm. Yeah, it's still good. Hmm. 
It's not quite as good as I thought it would be. Oh my god, I'm so far ahead. <laughs> what now? Nice. I feel a little bit bad. Hmm. Do I brew the bone mare? Seems good. I'm at such a high amount of health that the only way I can lose is if I somehow get outvalued, so I'll try not to get outvalued. Uh, I just armor up here. Nah, yeah, we'll, we'll go for ultimate value lines. It's hard to imagine I won't have a target, given that I have such big things. Our Lord, Hydra, all the one ones, even this three two. If something goes horrifically wrong, So many Tried so hard. Eleven zero. Woo! All right. Yeah, final boss. Thank you, Geno Hacker, for subbing. Forty-three months. Appreciate your long-standing support. How many people guessed twelve? Six people. Wow. Oh, and two people have 11 still. Will we get reverse swept?
an Avas. A blue dragon. I still haven't gotten Blaze Color active a single time. Will this be the game where Blaze Color is active? Oh, it's a rematch. Was this the guy who Forbidden Flamed me on turn one? How did you make it to 11? <laughs> I don't have enough mana. Uh. Forcing him to hear a power on four is still pretty good. I got three, four, five. Gonna go for the turbo hydro in. Ah, no grab, no gore howl for you. I'm a control deck, right? How do I get punished by not trading? Blizzard? Volcanic? For me. Eh, trade. Carnivorous cube would be so good here. Just gotta remember I'm a control deck, so trading tends to be right. I do have a Hydra out, so... Could possibly have thought about pushing stuff, but... Nah, we're the trade man. Point bone mirror on this guy. And then violet worm. Or just violet worm right now. That thing's not at one yet. What now? This is pretty scary. We have enough health that we don't care about the fire of last silliness. It's 
So I'd like to not run into Polymorph. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have it based off of his play. So we're just gonna do this, I suppose. It's pretty weak against Poly though. What if I took the Gadgeteer Weaponsmith route instead? Or maybe the Gadgeteer Phoenix the Face route? It does activate Blaze Color. It'd be at 15, 4, 7, 14. Threads lethal. Alright, we'll do this path. I believe we've actually done it. 12 and 0 with Warrior. Easy? Wow, 12, oh, dang. Wow, great rewards! Well, that was very unlikely, but uh... <laughs> we somehow went 12 and 0.